I, VD of Video Games Fun, am pretty happy at the moment for a few reasons. One, I am recording using the old setup I had for VD Plays, the charger and stuff finally came and I'm happy with that. Two, it's August, which is the anniversary month, anniversary month of my main channel, Video Games for Fun. And third is, of course, I am playing The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So welcome back to the Vidi Plays project of that one. Where we last left off, um, Zelda, well, she pretty much got out of here and threw the Ocarina of Time in the water. We got it. And Ganondorf chased after them. What happens to them, we're not sure yet. But now that I've got the Ocarina of Time, let's actually go to the Temple of Time. Now... I did wonder about, um, I'll get some more rupees while I'm talking. Uh, I did wonder about doing more side quests uh, related uh, stuff before going to the Temple of Time. But I figured I actually want to get to the next main part of the game as much as possible. Um, to a some extent, um, I do want to um, try and go through mostly the main uh, areas one after the other. Um, and then maybe do side stuff after that. For the most part, um, I should be fine with that. But of course, for almost for walkthrough reasons, um, I do want to get to a, a main part of the game um, as early as I can. Um, so that's why we're going to just keep on going as much as we can. But I'm getting more rupees because there is one side thing I do want to do. Um, after we go to the Temple of Time and you'll hopefully see what that is and hopefully it won't take too long either so I could go to the next main part. But anyways, um, with that in mind, I'm also hoping to do Ocarina of Time more um, often now because of that reason as well. I wanted to get to the latest sections of the game, uh, do the walkthrough stuff and also get more footage for the Top 25 Game Showcase which you should check out on the main channel um, when it comes out. I hope you will enjoy it. So here we are, um, the next main part of the game, the Temple of Time. Now, when I was young, I thought this was almost photorealistic, that way the temple was uh, looming there. It was almost like a photo, but really, it's just, you know, very good texturing for its time. So let's go inside already, because that's what Zelda wanted us to, and she also wants us to play a song here too. Um, did you do your homework before this uh, episode recording, people? Do you know what song it is? Anyone who doesn't know the song uh, gets an... Um... Nah, they don't get an F. I'm generous. Here we go. So this is the... Okay, yeah, this is what Zelda wants to do. Yeah. I play the song of time. Maybe you guys knew what this song was because you played Majora's Mask like I did. <laughs> anyway, we play the song of time. And that combined with the three spiritual stones of the forest and the volcano and water, well, fire, you, you know what I mean, um, will bring us on to the next part of the game. What could this be? I think, to be fair, the... Um, the instruction manual almost gives this away as well. Like if the instruction manual hints at things that you can do with a game, and well, although then again, I could be wrong. Maybe either one, you didn't read the instructions, or you were wondering, wait, when's it gonna happen? And then this next bit happens, and you're like, what? It's, a, it's also a similar structure to Link to the Past. We get three main things, and then we come on to... Yeah, say it, Navi, say it. We come on to... Is that legendary blade? The Master Sword. Is it a fake one? Oh, uh, that's Link's for Pass, never mind. <laughs> Maybe I should do a Link's for Pass video place at some point. Anyway... We get the Master Sword! Hooray! What? 
What is this? Um, music? What? <laughs> Excellent work. As I thought, you held the keys to the door of time. You have led me to the gates of a sacred realm. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. So, was this his plan all along? But we got the Master Sword, it's a great weapon. Is, is that over? Vidi, wake up. Vidi, the chosen one. Where are we? Also, I was having a quick drink of water. Don't worry, <laughs> but this could be a Twitch stream. You hydrate on a Twitch stream, sort of. Also, I do have a Twitch description, a Twitch link in the description, but yeah, yeah, anyway, enough about that. I'm trying to figure out what's just happened here. Where are we? Wait, who are you? I am Ru, or one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built a temple of time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. This is the chamber of sages, inside the temple of light. The temple of light, situated in the very center of the sacred realm. It's the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil destroyed sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the sacred realm. Vinny, don't be alarmed, look at yourself. Huh? I think my voice is broke. Uh oh. I'm grown up now. What's happened to me in my. I'm taller and my clothes are different. Look, Vidi, you're big now. You've grown up. The Master Sword is a sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the Hero of Time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. And now that you are old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the hero of time. Well, do you understand your destiny? Yeah. But remember, though you opened the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power, he became the King of Evil. His evil power radiated from the temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years, it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has only little influence, even in this sacred realm, namely, this chamber of sages. But there is still hope. The power of the sages remains. When the power of all the sages is awakened, the sages' seals will contain all the evil power in the void of the realm. I, Ruru, am one of the sages, and your power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time. The hero of time, chosen by the Master Sword. Keep my spirit with you, and find the power of the other sages, and add their might to your own. I didn't know I had aged seven years. Vidi's aged seven years? How did I, Vidi, have aged seven years? Well, Link. Link has. Anyways, uh, one of the first uh, medallions of one of the sages we have got automatically. It's the Light Medallion, where River Sage adds his power to yours. So obviously we've got to give the other medallions. Find the other sages and save Hyrule. Hang on, I didn't know we were playing a Link to the Past. What's going on? Wait, wait, they were maidens, weren't they, in Link to the Past? It's been a while since I played that game. Again, Vidi, do a Link to the Past for LP. We'll stream it. Link to the Past is so good. So we're back at the Temple of Time. 
and Vin Simabilbic ominous, ominous. Vidi, we're back with Temple of Time. But have seven years really passed? It looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Let's get out of here. Surely maybe a few of them, logically speaking, we could use? I don't know. Oh. Hello? Who's that? Who's that behind us? Wait for him. Ally or foe? I've been waiting for you, Hero Time. Ah, this music! When evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. One in the deep forest, one on a hive mountain, one under a vast lake, one within the house of the dead, one inside a goddess of the sand. Together with a hero of time, the awakened ones will bind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. Breath of the Wild? What? <laughs> I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. As I see you standing there, holding the mythical Master Sword, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. Also, this is Timely with Skyward Sword, the legendary hero. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. One sage is waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl I am sure you know. Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. But if you believe what I'm saying, you should head to Kakarika village. Do you understand, Vidi? Oh, you don't give me a yes or no option. But anyways, um, before we do go to Kakarika Village, though, that side thing I mentioned earlier in this episode, I want to try and do, just sort of get it over and done with. Plus, I want to see if it's uh, kind of fun to do. Maybe it was better on the 3DS version of the game, or so. Look at how barren and desolate and horrible this place is. Oh dear. Oh, surrounded by re-deads and everything. Oh dear me. Anyways, um, also before I actually head out to Highwell Field, this is not the side thing I was talking about, but I'll have a conversation with this character here. Hello? Oh, you are quite an energetic young man. You're brave and handsome too. Um, thank you, Vidi says, scratching the back of his head. <laughs> Your name is Vidi, isn't it? <laughs> Don't be surprised, I can read people's minds. If I looked as good as you, I could run a different kind of business. <laughs> My shop is the only ghost shop in Hyrule. Because of a great Ganondorf, it is a fine time for a business like this. <laughs> Oh, I can only hope the world gets even worse. The ghosts called Poes are spirits of, of concentrated hatred that appear in the fields and graveyard. They hate the world. Young yeah, man, if you catch a Poe, well, I will pay a lot of money for it. <laughs> yep, that's one of the main side quests we can do. Poe collecting, but we won't do that in this recording session. Now, see if I can... Uh, I think, yeah, even as Adult Link, which he's generally known as, um, I can do the uh, backwards trick, can't I? Yep, you can. I want to go to Long Long Ranch, please. We'll go there first before Kakarika Village. Hobie Navi won't be like, Hey, listen! I want to get there before, before it turns to night time. Yeah, we'll get this over and done with. At least the music remains, even in this uh, pretty uh, Blair sort of a world. So, 
You remember as a child, we um, became friends with a horse? Well, that's what we're going to do here. There are some people who are spreading rumours that I cheated talent out of a ranch, but don't be ridiculous. That guy Talon was weak. I, the hard-working Ingo, poured so much energy into this place. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Listen, the great Ganondorf recognized my obvious talents and gave the ranch to me. I will raise a fine horse and win recognition from the great Ganondorf. Say, young man, do you want to ride one of my fine horses? Pay me ten rupees and you can ride. Ah, uh, sure. Do you want to hear how to ride? Nah, no, we'll see it as we go. Thank you so much. You know, I almost thought of a, 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 um, a merchant. Oh, sorry, paper song. Uh, merchant from Resident Evil 4. <laughs> Thank you. Do you remember opponent's song? Up, left, right. Up, left, right. It's opponent's song. Opponent. No, not you. <laughs> the horse was like, no, don't use opponent. Pick me. <laughs> so anyway, how we can? No, I don't. I, I wanted to ride. I, I got a bit uh, happy with my A button. Okay, so we go forwards. Yep, and the carrots represent uh, mostly the speed, but which we go out. Press A to. Uh, yeah, let's go faster, as it says. The faster we go, uh, the more we're able to do things such as uh, jump over fences and get rupees back. Okay, yeah, right. Uh, okay. So we'll just go for a bit of a joy right? and then we'll talk to uh, Ingo as well. I also got my 10 rupees back. Now, uh, now this is something I'm a tiny bit confused with, with sometimes. Yeah. Do I know you? I just felt as well I've seen you somewhere before. If you use Z-Tarky, you can talk to me from horseback. Are you ready to go home? No, no, no. Oh, okay, I, I know what you have to do. We just have to, we have to do it a second time. But we got uh, 10 rupees back as well. Uh, yeah, don't listen. Then we'll uh, get a Pono again and talk to Ingo again from Setsakini. If this is not the way to do it, I, um, I do apologise to you, Ocarina of Time purists. But, you know, we had to make sure we're riding the Pono and we talk to Ingo to make a certain thing happen. Uh... Horsey. Ah, oh, there you go, Horsey. I should have... Oh, no, this is not Twilight Princess. Otherwise, I would call you Horsey. Okay, just make sure we're not riding and speak to him. You're getting better. Yeah, that's because I paid you 20 rupees. How about a little race with me? One lap around the corral with that horse. Let's make a little wager. Save 50 rupees. Okay, well, I've got a fair amount of rupees. But anyway, let's see if we can race this chap. Uh, best tip I've remember is to stick to the inside of the track more. And do not waste your carrots. That much is obvious. Or we can try to go around him and stick to the inside. Okay, get, get ahead of him and do not use the last carrot. He can push us along. And we'll use the carrots at the end of the lap. The last carrot, I mean. Okay. Okay, go, go faster. Now that was the easy part. Let's do the hard bit next. Whoops. Hopefully this won't take too many tries. Shoot! If a great Ganondorf found out about this humiliation. Hey, you, how about another race? See, if you win, you can keep the horse. Hmm, I'm not sure if that's my best Ingo impression. Whoa. You can, he can sound like any other voice acting in uh, the Breath of the Wild. But that was mainly for the main characters, you know. Pretty much the other characters in that game don't have voices. But anyway, let's not focus on Breath of the Wild. We're going retro and trying to see if we can beat this guy. Let's see if I can get in front of him and you can push in front of me. Thank you. That's how you do it. Okay, so far so good. Maybe I play this game so much I can almost do this part of my sleep. Come on. There we go, we did it. Yay, first try. It's not that hard, just sometimes I do lose it. What's up with that horse? Is that Epona? How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? I was going to present that horse to the great Ganondorf, 
but I bet it on the race and lost. Shoot! <laughs> As I promised, I'll give the horse to you. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. Hey! What? Guess I'm out of here. I can use this horse to leave, no problem. See? <laughs> now, not that we absolutely need a Pona, but a Pona can be used for a few things later and go around Hyrule Field a little bit faster. So it's good we got him. Him. Her, sorry. Okay, girl. Let's ride to Kakariko Village. Hiya! Oh yeah, the green button at the top will need a certain item. Let's go to Kakarika Village. I don't think it matters which time of the day. But well done, Vidi. You got a Pono in one try. Not that it's like, like hard to, just... I don't know, it's just sometimes I lose because I don't go ahead of Ingo properly. But if you just keep to the inside, go ahead. Almost letting him push you and use your, don't lose your last carrot. Uh, you'll be fine. Also, opponent can't go up these stairs. Though, in Breath of the Wild, opponent would be able to, or any horse for that matter. Ah, Kakariko Village at sundown. So, so, you know, new characters and stuff like that as well. Well, maybe not new characters, but the characters from the child timeline have moved around Hyrule quite a bit as well. Now, before we go to get what we came to Kakarika Village for, let's indulge in a strange bit of time travel, shall we? At the Windmill Hut. Oh wait, no, 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 I don't need to do that. I can actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hope I can do this. We, 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 I could go to the Windmill Hut after I've got this uh, next important thing. So that's all good. Okay, now it's underneath a gravestone. Question is, which one is it? It's not this one, is it? Come on, grab it. I wonder if it is this one. Uh, don't think so. But yeah, as I remember rightly from when I came here as a child. Uh, yeah, I've almost got so many things in bottles. But yeah, that's where you can get uh, fairies if you want. Just make sure you have an empty bottle and you can get as many fairies as you want. Well, up to, in my case, three of them. No, that's always oh, a po there, but we, that's not the po that that chap near uh, Hyrule Castle wants. Oh, by the way, we grew magic beans. We still haven't got all the magic beans, though. Harpies. Good to two pieces. Okay, good. But yeah, that's why we can. Uh... <laughs> I can I, that, was, that was epic. You can uh, get a heart piece by. Uh, or other things by using the magic beans fully grown. Also, is that damp? Hey, <laughs> young man, are you fast on your feet? I may not look like it, but I'm confident in my speed. Let's have a race. Follow me if you dare. Now, I don't think we have to beef this guy. We just have to make sure we follow him. Now, I might be thinking also, or maybe you do have to get fast enough in some cases. Hey! Um. Right up. I'm thinking either of this one or Majora's Mask. You have to get a good time or something. Uh, that way you get another reward besides the main thing. Oh, oh come on. I was going to the left to that. Oh, yes. I heard... Uh, oh, wait, where's he going? That way. There's also rupees there, but he's not that going that way. Yeah, he's going around in circles a little bit. Oh, that way. It's almost like, like you have to memorize this path. Ah! No. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm not sure if the timer was like 
You can't get through that door. It shuts behind you. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, that was close. I almost thought Link was right next to that little bit of fire. Oh, yeah, there's a... You're doing a little bit more shortcuts in Majora's Mask version of this. And also, Majora's Mask is not with some... Alright. The time of his race was that. <laughs> yeah, man, you were very quick to be able to keep up with me. <laughs> As a reward, I'm going to give you my treasure. It's called the Hookshot. Again, we've linked to a past. Its spring-loaded chain will pull you to any spot where its hook sticks. Doesn't that sound cool? I'm sure it will help you. I live here now, so come back again sometime. I'll give you something cool. Yeah, I thought so. One more thing, be careful on your way back. <laughs> yes, so we have to get, a, I think, one minute or less to get another reward. But anyway, the hookshot beckons. Let's get the hookshot, let's get the hookshot. You found the hookshot is a spring-loaded chain that you can cast out to hook things. You can use it to drag distant items towards you, or you can use it to pull yourself towards something. While holding the C button, uh, you can aim with control stick, shoot it by releasing the C. So yeah, without a hook shot, we can't get to the forest temple. Also, what's this? This is one of the main uses of a sauna time in Ocarina of Time. It's to move some blocks. Get out of the way, block. We're trying to save the world here. I, I don't think that block can talk, Vidi. Okay, now this is probably what that ghost meant by being careful. So we're at the windmill hut now, but I want... I want that heart piece, so let's be careful. Okay. <laughs> Just so I didn't play uh, a song. Now let's see if we can do this properly. Well, it's slow enough. But sometimes the order jump can be a bit finicky in games like this. Also, that makes up for the little bit of damage I took during the race. But anyway, yeah, this is what I was going to do in the windmill hut before. Or what I wanted to do. Grr, I'll never forget what happened on that day seven years ago. Grr, it's all that ocarina kid's fault. Next time he comes around here, I'm going to mess him up. No comment. Whoops, um... What? You've got an orc arena? What the heck? What the heck? That reminds me of that time, seven years ago. Back then, a mean kid came here and played a strange song. It messed up this windmill. I'll never forget this song. Wait, the Game of Thrones theme? <laughs> no one would know. So we have a strange time paradox being. We learn this song as an adult, so we go back in time and play the song. So he teaches us the song so that we go back in time. <laughs> it's all confusing. <laughs> the bombs on top. You learn for Song of Storms. That's a pretty um, iconic song in... Um... Oh, also, it was in Majora's Mask as well, wasn't it? Oh, I'm sure it was. Also, just out of curiosity, how much, how many sculptures do I have? 27, well, I imagine with a forest temple, you know, the dungeon, having enough sculptures, we'll be able to get uh, 30 sculptures more. But like I said, I think I'd like to uh, clean up after the main, well, not, I'm not sure if clean up's in a word, but just to, just, you know, clear things up after as much of the main um, temples as possible in the adult timeline. And then I'll show you where more of the sculptures and stuff like that are. Also, the opponent is just uh, waiting for us. So let's go to the Forest Temple. Let's ride to Kakariko, uh, not Kakariko Village, Kokiri Forest. See you there. <laughs> 